Last time, we learned a couple of different ways to get an object isolated in an image and then calculate the pixel location of the object. But this information is not yet quite good enough to allow our manipulator to move to the object location. We need to convert the object location from units of pixels, our camera units, to units of centimeters, world units. Also, we've found the location of the object relative to the camera. We need to find the location of the object relative to the manipulator. We'll start today with the first problem, converting pixel units to centimeter units. To do this, let's clarify a piece of terminology that I have already been throwing around in previous videos, field of view. The field of view of a camera is the physical area that can be seen through the camera. Of course, the field of view of the camera will change as the camera moves. If the camera is far away from objects, then the field of view will be large, and if the camera is close to the objects, the field of view will be small. The field of view in physical units, like centimeters, is equivalent to the resolution of the camera in units of pixels. Therefore, we can use the information of the field of view to obtain a conversion factor between pixels and centimeters. Let's take a look at how to do that. Open the background subtraction code that we ended with last time and save it as a new name. Let's call it camera coordinates. Then run it. Focus on the live grayscale image as I'm showing here. Then place your ruler in view of the camera. Line up the zero centimeter with the edge of the camera on the left. and align the ruler in the horizontal direction as best you can. Now read off the centimeter measurement. In my picture here, I'm reading 11.3 centimeters. Now hit escape a couple of times to end this code. Now, since there are 640 pixels across the image horizontally, we have a centimeter to pixel conversion of 11.3 divided by 640. Let's write this into our code so that we calculate the X location in centimeters instead of the column location in pixels. Up near the top, let's create a new variable called centimeter to pixel and that will be equal to 11.3 divided by 640.0. Since we now have a centimeter over pixel value, if we multiply that times the pixel number, we'll get centimeters out as our units. Let's do x location equals column location times centimeter to pixel. And here, instead of printing column location, let's print x location. Now let's test this. Make sure that the camera is nice and stationary and there's nothing in the field of view. Then hit escape so that we can see the difference picture. And we also want to see the X location output over here. Now place an object in the view. The output says this object is at 7.168 centimeters. Let's see if that's right. I'll go to the foreground image and then I'll use my ruler. Now 
I'll have to be really careful while I'm doing this not to bump the object. I've already bumped it a little bit. Okay, so the center of my object really is at about seven centimeters, right there. Looks good, let's do another test. Since this is still running, we can just remove the object and place some different object in the view. Let's put this object much closer to the edge. I'll use a smaller object this time so that it's easier to tell where the center of the object is. Actually, let me rotate it 90 degrees. There we go. It says it's at 2.13. Let's see what we've got here. I'll line up zero with the edge of the screen. And it really is at about 2.1 or so. So it looks like this is working correctly. Before we move on to the next step, let's get our code to tell us not only where it is in the X direction, but also where it is in the Y direction. Hit escape to end the execution of this code. And let's add code to calculate the Y location. Let's start by copying this entire block of code and pasting it down here. I'm going to replace all the column variables with row variables. then this range should not be 1 to 640 because we only have 480 rows. So I'll change this to 480. Now back here where we did the sums, it's this zero that defined that we were summing the columns. If we make this one, we'll sum along the, a different axis. We'll sum the rows instead. Also, if I've summed the rows like this, the shape of my vector row sums is going to be wrong. I really want it to have one row and 480 columns. So right now it has one column and 480 rows. In linear algebra, the way that we make rows into columns or vice versa is by taking the matrix transpose. So let's do row sums is equal to row sums dot transpose let's change this to row location change this to y location Now, can we use the same centimeter to pixel value to get the Y location as we did to get the X location? It turns out that we should be able to do this because pixels are generally square. But we'll have to test it and make sure that that's actually true for our camera. Also, the only time we can use one single centimeter to pixel conversion value for both the X and the Y and in any location is if our camera and our surface are parallel to each other. The camera mount that came with your kit has been designed to try and keep that camera as parallel to the surface as possible. So for now we're going to go ahead and assume that the camera view is parallel to the board surface. Now we want to print out not only the X location, but also the Y location. Let's do it this way. And I missed a column thing here. Let's change that to row. And now let's run it. Now 
Make sure that the light level is stabilized and the camera is stationary and there's nothing in the view of the camera and then hit escape to save the background image. Here's our difference. And we can see the X and Y location printing out here. I'm going to use a nut this time because eventually the nut is what we're going to want our manipulator to pick up. There's the nut. It says it's at 4.7 in X and 3 in Y. What if I slide the nut up? Now it's at 0 0.7 in Y. Now it's at 7.5 in Y. Let's see if this is correct. I'll go back to the grayscale view. It says that the X location is almost exactly 4 centimeters. I line up 0 with the edge of the screen and I try to get the ruler nice and horizontal. Four centimeters is pretty accurate. Notice that the numbers change when I place the ruler in the screen. That's because the ruler is also something that's different. So my background subtraction is picking up the ruler. But when I pull the ruler out, it goes back to picking up just the nut. The Y position, it says, is 7.5. So keep in mind that the zero Y position is actually at the top of the screen not the bottom of the screen. So we'll line up zero with the top of the screen and it, well, let me slide it closer to the nut so we can see this a little bit better. So the actual Y position is about seven, somewhere between 7.5 and eight. So that Y position is also pretty good and correct. In the next video, we'll move on to the second problem trying to find the location of the nut, not in camera coordinates, but in our manipulator base frame coordinates.